story that played out in the aftermath of Hurricane Katrina, the tragedy of what went on in a memorial hospital when the city was underwater. Yeah, now a series based on those real life events is going to begin streaming tomorrow. Meg Ferris is joining us with more from the hospital on Napoleon Avenue about what happened. Meg. Well, Katie and Cherie says I was trying to set up interviews for this story and spent a couple of hours on the phone with doctors who lived through this and their attorneys and also the person who wrote the book Five Days at Memorial Life and Death in a Storm Ravage Hospital. It became evident that all these years later and all of you at home know 17 to be exact that there's still a lot of controversy, a lot of raw emotion and passion surrounding this. In the days after Katrina, the situation was desperate. What happened at Memorial became a national story wrapped up in a legal case. The state attorney general accused a doctor of purposely giving patients an overdose of drugs, leading to their deaths. The doctor maintained she was trying to manage pain and care for patients in a hopeless and squalid situation. Apple TV's eight episodes of Five Days at Memorial, advertised as based on actual events from Hurricane Katrina, is adapted from the New York Times best-selling book by Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist Dr. Sherry Fink. She's a medical doctor, Ph.D. neuroscientist, and former disaster relief worker. We reached her by phone and requested an interview. She was looking into doing one via Zoom, Wi-Fi permitting, but later had an Apple TV publicist contact us to answer questions. Dr. Fink says she wants people to watch before judging the show because she believes the series portrays what happened in the disastrous, sweltering conditions in Memorial Hospital with compassion and sensitivity. They found 45 dead bodies there. Now, does that make any sense to you? We also spoke with doctors who were there in real life. They have not seen the series, but have concerns based on what was written about them in the book and subsequent article in the New York Times. They feel what the trained medical staff went through in triage is not accurate and portrays a Hollywood narrative. They say bodies were already in the morgue and the others who died were ones in life care. It's a ward for critically ill and dying patients. Attorney Rick Simmons also gave us a statement. He's the attorney for Dr. Anna Poe, who was at the hospital and wants the miniseries to note that the Orleans grand jury returned a no true bill for any charges against her involving patient deaths. He says Dr. Poe is not commenting on the show, will not watch, is focusing on her patients and is not tied to or getting monetary compensation for this drama. Simmons says they asked for an advanced copy but did not get one and wants a visible disclaimer that Dr. Poe did not participate in it. Now, Apple TV shared some production notes um, uh, to us about this story, and let me kind of summarize that. Um, she says that Dr. Fink hopes knowing what happened might help future planning and avert a similar crisis in the future. And she notes that true medical professional, professionals disagreed with one another about the actions that needed to be taken that week after Katrina here at the hospital. And she hopes that living through the pandemic will give a whole different perspective on what happened inside. Now, Mr. Simmons, the attorney for Anna Poe, also sent us a link to a website that he has that says has more of her side and her reaction to the book that came out in the past. Reporting live from Uptown, Meg Farris, Eyewitness News. Back oh, to you. I know.